on the product is called BioShield 75. And BioShield 75 is a, a surface protectant. And it goes beyond where cleaning and sanitizing end. The way it's applied is you, it's, it's in a ready-to-use format. There's no mixing or anything involved. And you can have it in either gallons or quarts or five gallons or 55-gallon drums. And you can simply spray it on the surface or fog an area. If you have a large area, you can come over with a mixer or a fogger and just coat everything within that room very quickly. Um, on surfaces, you simply will spray it on there and you, and you basically just let it dry. That's all you have to do. If you know anything at all about disinfectants, disinfectants are only effective when they're wet. Okay? So you spray them on a surface, and they all have a dwell time, five minute, ten minute dwell time, whatever, to make sure it's actually killing all of the germs that are on the surfaces. A great example is you know, all the problems with cruise ships that they're having with that. Okay? And so they go in there and they shut the cruise ship down, and they go through all this cleaning processes and so forth. And all they're doing is they're putting disinfectant on a rag, and they're wiping the handrail, and they're going to the next hand. They're not putting the stuff on there properly and letting it dwell. That's why this, this stuff keeps coming back. And so, with this, it's effective when it's dry. Because after you clean and sanitize the surface, then you can put this on here, let it dry, and it actually sets up a bed of microscopic needles. It's literally the, the, the molecular structure of it. And the, these things are so small that they can't hurt mammals of any kind. That's why the USDA is accepted from the EPA. So, okay, it does what it's going to do. A great picture to give you a visual, is this. And it's, it shows it being attached to the surface here. So it's a polymer-based type of thing. Okay? Can you guys all see it? Okay. And, you could, but, and then it has these little molecular spikes sitting up right on that surface. These are things that will actually attract the microbes and the viruses, and it will pierce the cell of that virus and kills it at the molecular level. Okay? What's interesting about the difference between cleaning and sanitizing and a surface protectant, because this will go on and so continue to clean things afterwards. You see the you see the distinction there? Because that's very critical. Okay? There are wrestling programs all throughout the southeast that have been using it for quite some time. Um, Under Armour clothing has been using it for years. On Places like walls or ceilings that aren't really clean that much, it can last for years. There's um, a testimonial letter in here from a spice manufacturer <coughs> that had a problem with mold, black mold. You know, they go through the remediation process all the time, and they would try and do something with it. And then they treated the walls with the BioShield 75. Four years later, there was no mold. This is called a luminometer. Okay. And um, it's a, a handheld device. There's about six or seven manufacturers of them across the globe. And it's used by the USDA and a lot of other people to test the cleanliness of an area. It's not going to test for a particular bacteria, but it's going to test relative clean, cleanness. Thank you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this corner here. So I'm just going to kind of wipe this down and get any kind of surface gunk that might be there. Okay, I'm seeing coffee stains and things like that here. And then we'll just let this dry. So what I do is simply open up the swab, and I'm going to just test like right here in front of me. And you simply just wipe it on basically a 5 inch by 5 inch area, and you kind of roll it around a little bit, pick up the stuff that's there, and slide it in here, and then you snap the top, because this is the, if you remember anything from biology or chemistry class, this is what's called a reagent. And it's just simply going to get there to activate the chemicals that are in there. You shake it up a bit. And then you put it in here. Now, it's going to give us a number. Let me tell you what the number means. If it comes in at under 30, it means it's food safe. You can literally eat off the surface. If it's under 100, it's okay. Anything over 100 starts to get dirty. Okay? And it takes about 15 seconds to give us a count. So it's 41. So it's clean. Okay? So we. Okay. See? So right here, where we test where we, it was 41. So the, the the bleach is doing the you know that's not a good cleaner, but 
Now, I've got a little small sample of BioShield here, and I'm just going to spray it right on the same area. Not heavy. Just got to let it sit there and kind of dry. And it'll take a few minutes to dry. Um, now, the thing is, though, a lot of people can't use bleach. You know? You know, it's, I mean, obviously, you know, chlorine's like one of the most dangerous things in the world. You know, so you're not really wanting to use that for a whole lot of cleaning. And so, especially when you get into, you know, hospitals, nursing homes, daycare, schools, I mean, they're doing everything they can to get away from the leech because they know, they know the dangers. Sir? While it's wet, is it toxic? No. To no. Um, during the testing, the EPA found out that while wet, it has one tenth the toxicity of a bare aster. If you breathe that stuff in over mm -hmm. the course of time, mm -hmm. could that do any damage? No. Again, you know, it's one tenth the toxicity of it, you know, and it's just, it's water based. There's absolutely no odor, so there's no additional chemicals or anything like that added to it. In fact, the active ingredient is like point, point seven five percent of what, of what this is right here. Most of it's water. Okay? Um, I mean, if you're going to be spraying it in with using it with a big mister or a fogger, they recommend just wearing a mask, you know, just so that you're not inhaling the mist, but you don't have to have a special respirator or anything like that. And you don't even really have to have any kind of special clothing. So, depending on temperature and humidity, it will dry in about five minutes or so. And I can't, I can't tell my angle. Can you guys see any layers? Of, if I get wet? Is this compatible with all the, um, uh, the chemicals that we use? So that uh, with our chemicals, um, minimize. I don't know the chemicals that you use. Um, the only thing that's going to reduce the effectiveness of this is a real high acid based cleaner. Because you're not going to be spraying this no. on duct. No. No. I'm sorry, what? We use paste. No, but I could see that all around the, the food prep area. I mean, Napa filters and Wix filters is curr are currently using it as well. And they're using it for some, not only the breather filters that would grow in automobiles, but also some of the more industrial um, filters are using heating and air conditioning units. Yeah, why this wouldn't go on every filter that we do with air? Yeah. Every makeup air, every heating, air conditioning, it would be a simple thing that we would treat that minimally. Okay, you saw me spray the BioShield on there, let it sit for a while, green came back at a five. Right. So now it's food grade. You can eat off that surface at this point. What was it before? 41. 41? 41. 41. Mm -hmm. Boy, Ken. <coughs> what was your house? <laughs> He'd cut a tomato or something. Yeah, today. a rotten right. tomato. Weren't you tomato. over 500 or something? Yeah, it was up And it looked as clean as that. Yeah, it did. 41. First, the main bacteria carriers that we have with us all the time. You've got you know, the bottoms of your shoes, <coughs> okay, women's purses, and then cell phones. And so by cell phones, it was an easier thing to test. And every cell phone that came through was in the low 400s when we first were testing it because you got, you know, body oil and, you know, you know germs and so forth. And then we would simply take it on a paper towel, soak down a paper towel, wipe the phone, just make sure, you know, because it's water-based, so, you know, water-based electronics don't play well together. And so we just wiped it down, let it dry, and tested it again, and every single one of them came in at number 30.